So I got this interview question a few weeks ago asking me why integer underscore max is 2,147,483,647. And uh, I'm not going to say the name of this company because sure as hell, I had no idea how to do this question and I had no clue why this was the case. But they legit told me afterwards that we can't hire you because you don't know why this is the case of integer, integer underscore max is 2,147,483,647. So you know what I'm going to do in order to show my revenge? I'm going to explain to you guys why this is a case. And then you guys could like destroy in their next interview when people ask you this question, because this is like a really stupid question to ask during an interview. So let's actually explain why. Okay, so first of all, if you were gonna go on Google and you type in how many bytes in a bit, how many, yeah, how many bits in a byte? How many bits in a byte? One byte is eight bits, right? So if you were to go to your notepad or whatever your thing is and you write one byte is gonna equal to eight bits. Okay, one byte is equal, gonna equal to eight bits, okay? You guys understand? So then what are you gonna do, okay? And then if you go on Google and you type in how many bytes in a integer, you realize that in Windows 64 applications, an integer has four bytes. So if you write this down, one int is equal to four bytes. So um, one integer is four bytes. So if you use some math, right, do some basic multiplication, one integer is gonna equal to 32 bits, right? One integer is 32 bits based on four bytes because one four bytes, four bytes times eight bits is gonna equal to 32 bits. So if you go on Google now and you type in what is a bit, a bit is just a one and zero, okay? It's a one and zero binary bit. So then now you're gonna wonder, okay, there's 32 bits, what am I gonna do? Simple, you write, let's just write down all the bits of 32 bits. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay, there's 32 bits. All right, now if you go to my video on uh, how to convert binary to integer, right? How to convert binary to integer, uh, what you would realize is you have to add powers of two. So uh, before we add powers of two though, in integers and in computers, the most significant bit, this, this one right here, is uh, we actually ignore this because this is just a sign. So this is the sign, right? It tells you if it's positive or negative. So we're gonna actually ignore this. So now let's just write all the powers of two and just, just I'll just show you guys what I mean. So we have two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two, and so on and so forth until we get to the last one. So let's assume we're gonna count this one. So if you were to count starting from zero, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay. It would be summation of zero to 31. Okay. But uh, we're ignoring this last one. So we're actually going to go up to two to the 30th. Okay, we're gonna go up to two to the 30th. This last one, we're not gonna count because it, it just shows a sign in uh, computers. So we don't actually care about this. We go up to two to the 30th. So um, if you were to write a mathematical equation, assuming that you ha uh, have a lot of good mathematics skills, which I don't know why this has to do with coding at all, but let's say we have write a mathematical equation. Summation, it will be, two to the i, right? Because we're summing powers of two every time. And we're gonna start from zero, and then our last value is going to be 30. 
See, it's 30. Okay, so now if you were to go on Google, or unless you're just somehow a math genius or something, you realize that the summation of k to the 0 to the n of 2 to the k is equal to 2 to the n plus 1 minus 1. So if you were to plug in this equation, this will actually equal 2. Let's actually move this to the side. Let's move this over here, OK? I'll move it over here, OK? Uh, maybe over here, over here, over here, OK? So this is going to equal to 2 to the n plus 1. So our n is going to be 30. So 30 plus 1 is 31. And then minus 1, OK? Right, because from the summation, 2 to the k of k equals 0 to n is going to be equal to 2 to the n plus 1 minus 1. So in our equation, it will be 2 to 31 minus 1. Now if you were to type on Google what's 2 to 31 minus 1, you get the number of 2 billion, uh, what is this, 2, 2 billion 147,483, 2,147,483,647. So yeah, that's basically the gist on why this is the case. So if an interviewer were to just ask you this question for some reason in order to showcase their superiority over you and want to hire you based on how arbitrary you know your powers are too, then go ahead. You will ace your next interview. But until then, you'll probably be screwed like me and the rest of the other people who don't know why this is the case. But now you know. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.